So I thought I'd make a quick video on what the difference is between a pending code, a stored code, and a permanent code. And so a pending code is when the onboard computer sees an error or a problem with the engine, but it goes away. So for like example, if you're driving along, you hit a bump and a spark plug wire jars loose for a second, but then it reconnects, then the onboard computer is going to see this, but it's not constant. So it's just going to send out a pending code and the onboard computer is not going to see this as an emergency. So the engine light won't even come on. But if you scan the code, you'll see a pending code since the onboard computer did see this temporary error but it went away and it cleared and the next one is a stored code and when this happens the error is either constant or it's been triggered multiple times over many drive cycles so inside that same example if you hit a bump and the spark plug wire just completely came off and it wasn't temporary then you'd get a stored code or if that spark plug wire became disconnected multiple times over a few drive cycles then you'd get a stored code a stored code just like a pending code can be cleared with an obd2 scan tool or by removing the battery battery cable. And so if you get a stored code or a pending code and you have an OBD2 scan tool, then you can clear those codes from the onboard computer. The next one is going to be a permanent code. And this is only going to be on vehicles 2010 and newer. And this was added so that people can't clear the codes before they go in for an emissions test. So a permanent code is basically a stored code that can't be cleared. And the codes are usually related to emissions. So for example, if you're driving like a 2015 Toyota Camry and you hit a bump, that spark plug wire came off it put out a P0300 code that code's going to go permanent and you won't be able to clear it with an obd2 scan tool the only way a permanent code can be cleared is to do a certain drive cycle that's set for that vehicle and usually that just means you have to drive the vehicle around but there can't be set drive patterns so for example you drive like five minutes at 35 miles per hour and then you drive for five minutes at 50 miles per hour or something along these lines but the difference between a permanent code and a stored code is that they cannot be cleared with an obd2 scan tool or by removing the battery cable they can only be cleared by doing doing the set drive cycle for that particular vehicle. And so that's basically it. I just want to do a quick video on what the difference is between the pending code, store code, and permanent code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.